Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please be careful as you go across the street and have a great game. And tonight's game is going to end, and I don't know how it's going to end, but it will end, and so will our lives. The picture in my pocket is a picture of my wife, in perfect health, went to bed 20 minutes later, she's gone, she's dead. And all of us are going to have an end, and the question is be where we're going to go when the end does occur. And so this afternoon, we're just encouraging encourage you to consider your end. And as I look at God and His laws, I'm a spiritual criminal because I've broken His laws. I've broken His laws, therefore I cannot spend eternity with Him because He's holy and righteous, and I'm not based upon God's law. So we're asking you to consider God's law, and how would you be found? Have you ever told a lie? Have you ever taken something that wasn't yours? Or have you ever had any kind of thought ever in your life? If you've had any moment of imperfection in your life, then we're not equal to God. How can we be equal to God? How can we, on Judgment Day, be seen as righteous? If He looks at me and my spiritual crimes, I'd be guilty, and therefore I deserve the punishment of the law, God's law, just like breaking the law on the freeway. Therefore, I would uh, be accounted for His judgment, which is hell. But Jesus Christ paid my fine for my crime. He came and gave His life in Calvary, and God accepted his sacrifice on my behalf. He paid for my fine. Therefore, I am free from the crime I committed against the Holy Righteous God because I have broken his laws. So I'm asking you, have you ever broken any of God's laws in your life? If you have on Judgment Day, would you be interested to guilty? I'm guilty, I admit that. But Christ paid my, for my crime, he paid my fine. Therefore, God sees His righteousness in me. I hope that's what He would see in you as well. And if He does, then you can be co equal to God righteously and be in heaven forever, which is where my wife is, because she had the righteousness of Jesus accounted to her. Therefore, that's what God saw. Therefore, she is with God forever. And the good news for me is I'm one day closer to seeing her than I was yesterday. I just uh, hope you have a great uh, game tonight. And uh, I just hope you consider your end because the end is coming just like it did for my wife. And I just hope you have a, have a great day. Thank you very much.